Hello friends. In this video, uh, we will try to configure Git extensions tool that we have previously installed. I hope you are able to follow the videos and able to install so far the Git tool on your local environment and the Git extensions tool also on your local environment. If not, I am providing the link in below in the description of this video for the two videos because those uh, steps are prerequisite for this step. So if you have already installed, let's go get ahead. To configure Git extensions tool, we need to do two things, three things in fact. Configure Git username and email and configure the merge tool and configure the diff tool. So what are merge and diff tool? Merge tool is something that is uh, uh, used to merge two files uh, which are different. Like I have one version and you have another version and we need to merge these files and create a new version or uh, save the changes into one of the file. Uh, either take it from the left one or take it from the right one. So that is what merge tool does. We will see it in very detail when we are merging the code changes using the get extensions tool. Diff tool is something that is uh, also a tool to show the differences between the two versions of same file, but it is not able to merge. In our case, we will use kdiff as both of the tools because it has both the capabilities. So quickly go to the installed git extensions tool that we have previously installed and go to tools settings. We need to ensure that git extension option is selected here in the left node. So here what git extensions are is telling us it is showing us some green items and some red items. These red items needs to be resolved in order to use this tool completely. So first item is you need to configure a username and email address. That is the first item in our agenda here. So we will do it using the repair button. Username is something that will appear when you change the code. This name will be uh, given there in the logs that this person has changed the code. So I will provide my name here. You can provide yours, obviously. In here, I am providing the email that will be used uh, while I check in the code. What is check in? I will explain in the later session. For now, it's an email to identify you that you have changed the code. So I am providing my email here. This could also be the same email that we have uh, used to create this repository in GitHub. How to create this repository? The link to that video is also given in the description below, or you can follow in this series. Uh, there is a step called uh, Git repositories. So let's get back to Git extensions. So I am providing the email that I have been using to create the repositories in GitHub. Now, select the merge tool. Merge tool, we have decided to use kdiff3. And we have not installed kdiff3 yet on our local system. In order to install it, we need to go to this location in our browser. If you open this location, you will see something like this and you see a download. It will download you a setup file, which you can use to install. You need to say yes if it asks for the permission and to follow the installation instructions. It's very straightforward. And it asking for the path where to install. I am just copying the path here so that we can provide it in the Git extensions. And it says that installation is complete. So we can provide the path here. It is asking for this exe file, where the exe file of the program that we want to use as merge tool is. So I provided it like this. And 
there is merge tool command which will be used so we can use the suggest button and it guesses what the command could be and most of the time it's right also as a diff tool we have decided to use kdiff3 the same tool for merge and diff so we can view the difference between two versions of a file using the same tool and also merge if required we will come across these terms diff and merge in very detail and we will know what uh, i am referring uh, with these terms in next videos if you don't understand these terms don't worry about that at all there is also an additional step files content encoding so if you are not sure that what encoding you are going to use for your programming i would suggest you to use unicode utf8 because it's the universal uh, uh, file encoding that is uh, used generally uh, by the people and uh, especially when we are working in an international environment utf8 encoding is very useful we say apply here and say okay and we say tools settings and we select here get extensions and we can see that all the items are green here so the get extensions tool is signaling us that all the items are green and now we are ready to use this tool for our purposes and what is the first purpose we will clone a repository that we have created here in github namely git concepts but we will see it in the next video happy getting guys if you are liking the videos please don't forget to subscribe and like if you subscribe let me remind you the new videos will appear in your inbox as soon as i upload it thank you for watching bye bye